Hey now, Deadheads, welcome back. So Thanksgiving just passed, and you know what that means? We also had Black Friday. Not just any Black Friday, but Record Store Day Black Friday brought us two uh, releases for Deadheads. First, Jerry Garcia Band, Pure Jerry, at Hampton Coliseum in Hampton, Virginia, 1991. And then that first show, for, or that first night from the Europe 72 run with the Grateful Dead, you can see it poking down there, uh, at the Lyceum Theater. And so that tour opener. Uh, and so excited to hear both of those, but I want to share with you uh, the package of this first. Share this with you today. Um, if you are familiar with uh, Pure Jerry, um, I'm not sure which volume that was, but it was at the Hampton Coliseum 1991 in November. Um, you might recognize this box is one a little bit bigger than the CD release that originally came out, but it's also different art. So this is uh, art by Graham Arrington. Um, he's an artist that has done a lot of work with Grateful Dead Productions. Uh, you can probably still buy a few of the shirts that he designed on Dead.net. He's done some posters along the way, I believe. Pretty sure um, that he, he's done some posters along the way for either Dead & Company or, or Grateful Dead. Uh, but his art is part of that you know Grateful Dead universe and ecosystem, and he's still creating beautiful stuff for them. Um, and as you can see, this is absolutely gorgeous, psychedelic-inspired uh, painting work that he's done for this Pure Jerry release, and I'll cut into a close-up of this. I just, I'm in love with this packaging. I think it's really fantastic stuff. And because it's a Round Records release, it's getting close there. You can see the Round Records seal. Um, similar to the, the recent Jerry Garcia band self-titled release that came out earlier this year, um, similar to um, Garcia Live Volume 1 and 2, those were both Record Store Day releases, and then Garcia Live Volume 14. I don't think that was a Record Store Day release, that was just a, a general release. All on Round Records, and any of those releases that are more than two records, they do in these beautiful... Um, book opened boxes. It's not a two piece box, but it's a one piece box. Um, and I, I actually really like these. I, I wish that uh, Grateful Dead Productions did more of these one piece boxes. I, I think they're a little bit sturdier. They just feel more premium. And I like them a lot. Um, and as we open it up, you can see um, it's just really gorgeous packaging all throughout. All brand new uh, design by, by Graham Arrington. Uh, he just did a fantastic job with this. Um, you can see the track listing for the first set on the left side interior. And then as we flip through these, you can see the new design work that he did, the painting work that he did for each individual slip cover. And inside each of these outer sleeves, we have a paper inner sleeve. Uh, for the first time, I saw someone complaining about the paper inner sleeves, leaving, leaving micro scratches on their records. I didn't have any problems with this. Maybe my, my setup, my hi-fi system is not hi-fi and high-end enough to be able to hear this, but I think that this recording sounds fantastic. I, I took a spin through this last night. I was still digesting some Thanksgiving leftovers and had a nice little lie down, put my headphones on. This, you know, this is a release that really lends itself to uh, some high-quality headphones and gave it a real nice close listen. And compared to... You know, what you can hear on Apple Music right now, I'm sure Spotify is quite similar. This vinyl release, it just sounds better to me. Maybe it's my, my analog system sounds better than my digital system, but I was really quite impressed with this release. Um, and it's nothing too fancy um, as far as the recording goes. It, we've got the caveat emptor on the back. It's the original two-track recording soundboard tapes. It's nothing, you know, fancy eight-track, 16-track like we got with the um, Reckoning run, with the Live Dead run, Europe 72 was, was a fancier, more sophisticated setup. And even I believe Without a Net was a more sophisticated setup that went into those live recordings. This is our, our fairly boilerplate two-track soundboard recording, but it sounds fantastic on this release. Really quite impressed with this. And so if you were if you were thinking about picking this up, I would highly recommend it. If you are a Jerry Garcia band fan or just Jerry Solo fan, um, really, really strongly recommend this one. And like I said, the, the packaging is beautiful. The one-piece fold-out book style uh, box is quite beautiful. The artwork is fantastic. 
you know, really, really pays homage to Hampton Coliseum in Hampton, Virginia. Better than that, it was, it was a 1978 or 1979 two-disc release. I believe that was Record Store Day that looked like it was drawn by a child with my first painting kit. Uh, also paying homage to Hampton Coliseum, but Graham did a much better job. And my only complaint with this box set, it's artistically crafted, but there's no liner notes. You know, it doesn't even tell you who's on this recording. I, I think at some point it might call out, um, no, it doesn't even say Bruce Hornsby. You know, that's, that's the big special guest, but it doesn't call out, you know, John Kahn and everyone else who's part of Jerry Garcia's band, the Jerry Garcia band. Um, there's no, you know, scene report, show notes for why Jerry Garcia band was playing at Hampton Coliseum in November 1991. Um, what are the tapers notes? What, you know, where are the newspaper clippings? I know that's a little bit cheesy, the newspaper clipping side of things, but I do like those liner notes. I like to know who's in the band at the time because it's usually a rotating cast of characters. I like to know, you know, a little bit of background information. Of course, Wikipedia is there, but I like to hold the booklet and skim the booklet as I'm changing records. I just wish that this release, I think the round records releases are usually pretty skimpy on, on the liner notes. Uh, so if you work for Round Records, one thing I would request for the future, please give us some liner notes. Uh, we've got a few other releases coming up soon. Uh, later this week, I'll be sharing with you opening up that uh, Lyceum first, first Night of Europe 72 box set, showing that off, and I'll give you the full review of both the packaging and also how it sounds, most importantly how it sounds, later this week. And then uh, I think a little bit later after that this week, we have the Jerry Garcia's Garcia album, uh, but they're doing for the first time the, the full deluxe edition. So it's, it's a two record set with, I think, B-sides and demos of most of the original album tracks on, I think it's a gold swirl vinyl, uh, limited to, I think, 10,000. And so I'll be showing that off, giving my full review. Still not sure of which version of Garcia that is, whether it's, you know, the original, the 50th anniversary remaster, um, what the lineage is, and so I'll try to track that down a little bit more. And then uh, after that, in the beginning of 2023, wow, that's coming up soon. Uh, January, if you pre-ordered it from the dead.net site, uh, February, if you didn't, but a 50th anniversary of Bob Weir's Ace. And that's not a two record set. The two CD set includes the live at Radio City Music Hall from April of this year, April 2022, recording of all the Ace songs uh, with Bobby and Friends. But the vinyl edition is just going to be, if you pre-ordered it, I think it's Pearl Swirl Vinyl. Um, if you didn't pre-order it, it will be the 50th anniversary new mix of that on just regular black vinyl. I think that's also 180 gram, but I'm not positive. And then, We've got a bunch of other stuff teased for 2023. I'll, I'll be making a video before the end of this year of what we know so far of 2023 releases. There's 50th anniversary editions. I think there's going to be a Dick's Picks. There's going to be some Dave's Picks. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff in 2023 to get excited about. Um, finally, um, I'm not sure if, if, if you hadn't seen it, American Beauty MoFi, Mobile Fidelity Edition, they did another pressing. I don't think it's up on the MoFi site anymore. I think they sold out there, but on Music Direct, last I checked about five minutes before starting the recording of this video, they still had in stock the American Beauty uh, Mobile Fidelity 45 RPM 2LP set. And I know a lot of people are souring on Mobile Fidelity, but the American Beauty and Working Man's Dead, I haven't checked the others, but those two are all analog process from the, from the quarter inch tape directly to a, a master uh, or a, a vinyl master of that. Um, and so there's no DSD, there's no digital intermediary there. And so if you are demanding that all analog process, if you want a fantastic sounding working man, not working man said, sorry, American Beauty, order that now before it sells out from Music Direct. Otherwise you'll end up spending an arm and a leg on Discogs or, or other third party reseller sites. And you just never know, you know how other people treated their records. And so I prefer to buy them new. I prefer to be the original owner. Um, and so thank you. That's it. That's it for today. Um, soon, like I said, later this week, I'll be sharing that Lyceum box. 
excited to share that. Um, and otherwise, uh, ha have a happy holidays. Thank you very much. Peace.